What's going on, Thor Nation? Walter is here bringing you episode 38 of Single Shenanigans. We're here back here with the same team again. This is the last iteration of you, you'll see with this team in the battle box. So we're going to click on that team right there. This last, this last episode, seeing these guys, these all-stars, man. We've been 2-1, uh, I think, three times now with these guys. So let's hit that challenge button and let get this going. I think we our current record is 13-13. and 13. We went 2-1 last episode. So we're on. We're kind of a good start. Not we're not doing too bad. We're thirteen and thirteen. Hopefully we can get above thirteen and thirteen this episode. So we got a Japan Kanagawa blah 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 fifteen twenty nine rating. Okay okay. So they're bringing another Mega Wall. If you if you didn't watch last episode, oh my gosh, Mega Malls for days twice Mega Mall. I think three times actually Mega Mall Wall. So Mega Mall Wall, a Mega Gardevoir, a um what's oh I can't I don't I don't I don't remember that flying name. That flying freaking electric type Pokemon name is. Anyways, they got a Gastrodon, um, a Kecleon, and then that, that uh, what's that Pokemon's name? Oh my gosh. Usually Rocky Helmet. Oh, that uh, Vulture Pokemon. Ah, can't, I can't remember. Anyways, I'm here with the Heliolus, Tyrantar, Machamp, Blastoise, Capture, and Darmanitan. I, don't know, I, I know I didn't say that in the beginning, but oh well. Either way. Um, let's see, let's see. Who I'm gonna lead off with Darmanitan again. Well, I'm gonna lead off with Darmanitan. Um, if I say again, it's because I'm both recording right now, and I just got done with the last episode. Uh, <laughs> uh let's see, let's see. I'm gonna bring Darmanitan. Going to bring Titar. And... Yeah, I'm gonna bring my champ. Yep, bring Machamp. I maybe shouldn't have brought Machamp. Should have probably brought Blastoise. But it's okay. They're taking a while to choose what they want. It's because I guess I have an awesome team over here, I guess. Now, I, I actually like their team. Their team is. Oh, excuse me. So unprofessional. Their team is actually pretty good. It's pretty. It has a pretty wide variety of Pokemon. You don't really know what they're gonna bring, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, she brings the Pokemon I'm predicting. Mawile, Gardevoir, and. or just Mawile in particular. Mawile, Gastrodon, and that electric type Pokemon. So, I don't think they're gonna bring Kecleon. Kecleon's weak. So, it brings that electric flying Pokemon. I can't remember its name. Oh my gosh, if you guys know the name, please put it in the comments below okay okay i'm pretty sure i'm faster than this pokemon and i'm pretty sure I, it's flying electric i'm pretty sure a rock slide can take it out but i'm gonna u-turn out i don't trust rock slide right now i'm gonna go for the u-turn maybe they'll switch out and give me switch initiative so they do switch out and i am gonna get switch initiative which is awesome awesome I know they didn't want to take a hit. So going to the Rocky Helmet. Um, oh, what's that bird's name? Two of them. So they did bring the bird. I'm going to hit with Rocky Helmet damage. Ugh. Rocky Helmet, Rocky Helmet. That's good, though. I think I did bring... I brought my T-Tar. T-Tar should be able to handle this bird no problem. If this is a toxic bird, though, then I'm not going to like life. I do not like birds that bring toxic. Because this bird can bring toxic. What is it? Matt, man. It starts with M, I think. Matt, man. I don't know. I'm gonna go for a Stone Age here, as so, because it, it's not gonna hit me. I'm not gonna get hit with Rocky Helmet damage. This is a Dark Flying, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Dark Flying because Crunch will not do anything. Crunch would be nice though, because this is physically defensive bird here. Wish I would have brought Blastoise. Blastoise would have been perfect against this bird with hooking it out. Water Pulse. Oh, an Aura Sphere too. As well, no, I should. It resists. Well, it's neutral, I think, because it's flying dark. What is this bird's name? Bolt, bolt, bolt. Oh my god. Uh, goes for taunt. That's okay. I'm not. I don't know why you'd go for taunt. I'm not the D. I'm not the D dancing. I'm a salt vest. Hit you with the stone edge. Ooh, does a good amount. So, hopefully, this stone edge hits again. If I can hit the second stone edge, goes for roost. So it's gonna try to roost stall me. Okay. If I can hit the second stone edge, I'm going to switch out into my champ. I do hit the second stone edge. 
and I'm gonna switch out and I am gonna go into my champ here. I didn't bring any special attackers. I should have thought about it and brought a special attacker. Should have brought Blastoise. Uh, so he's probably gonna go for another roost here. I could have went for Earthquake. What was I thinking? Go through the roost, predict it, went for Earthquake. Super effective. Oh my gosh. So I am buffered by the sandstorm. I don't know why this Pokemon's not buffered by the sandstorm. But I do have my leftovers. Oh, making mistakes. Making mistakes. I am going to go for the Stone Edge, though, I, with this Machamp. Sorry, guys. I gave my phone here. Just finished charging. It's going to go for the knockoff. Okay. That's totally fine. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge here. And I am carrying Earthquake, I think. Pretty sure I'm carrying Earthquake on this Machamp. Sandstorm does subside here. This is good for me. Um, no, I'm not. But I am going to go for the Dynamic Punch. Because I feel like this bird is going to go for another Roost. Goes for Foul Play. I should have went for Protect to scout that out. It doesn't do anything to me. It's not very effective as I do resist it. Dynamic Punch. It does resist this, but... Or it's neutral. It's neutral. It is neutral. But it is going to get confused. I'm going to get hit with Rocky Helmet. So Confusion is going to help me. I'm going to go for another Stone Edge here. Because... Hopefully it hits itself in Confusion. I get a Stone Edge off. And then I can hit it again with... Maybe... Another Dynamic Punch? Or, I don't know. Oh, hopefully I can take this Pokemon out. Hopefully. I'm wishing for Hex here. I'm wishing for Hex. Ugh. Should... So it does withdraw, it doesn't want to go for, but I am Nogar, Stone Age is going to hit whatever, oh, Stone Age is going to destroy this little flying electric type, super effect, oh, but I do carry the bullet punch, so it is focus dash, it's awesome, and I don't think you have any priority, so a bullet punch will take you out if you're 1% health. Hmm. I have a feeling that you're gonna switch out into okay Gardevoir oh I am carrying that bullet punch so bullet punch hopefully bullet punch will take you out Gardevoir you're gonna mega evolve you are fairy type so oh man come on can we take out Mega Guard. No! It is super effective. This is a defensive one. This is gets Psy Shock will take me out. As it is super effective. Oh my gosh. And it was a crit. Useless crit. It's a crit! Anyways. Hmm. I am going to go into Darmanitan here. I am faster. I'm going to hit you with a nice stab flare blitz. Can we take out Mega? Oh, you're going to withdraw and give me recoil plus Rocky Helmet damage. Okay. But I will take out this defensive Mur- no, Why do I say Murkrow? Oh my gosh. I can't think of this bird's name. It's going to die. It goes down. I get it with recoil. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Now I'm going to get So it's Rocky Helmet first, then I'm going to get it with recoil damage. Oh, it's terrible. This is such- I'm still over half, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Did Eevee this correctly then? I am stuck in Flare Blitz though. Shiny Gardevoir, can you go down right now? Can you go down to a Stab Flare Blitz? Super effective, max attack. Well, it's not super effective. Stab, max attack, Flare Blitz from a Darmanitan. I do take you out. We win our first battle. Here we go. Leading off, Darmanitan out oh, here grinding. D tan. I love, I love Darmanitan. One of my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite favorite Pokemon. So we get a nice 2-0. Good battle, good battle. That was a good one. Holy crap. I am happy about that battle. That battle lasted a good, what, 8 minutes? 8 minutes or so? Pretty good. I think it will save that one. That was, that was fun. Good switch outs. Um, it lasted a while. That bird Pokemon. Oh, what is his name? It's a vulture. Yes, let's continue battling. Same team. Battle box. You guys do see a Diancelon there, yes. And if you guys want one, just let me know. 
I will be doing giveaways pretty soon, and I will be giving away Diancy. It may be Wonder Trade, it may be just pure trades. I don't really care. I'm just going to do a giveaway. Give away some Diancies pretty soon. Just let me know if you guys want some Diancies. Comment section below. All right, all right. Okay, so here's my team. I'm still waiting for an opponent. I know, I just, I just clicked challenge. We are now, what, 14 and 13? Yes. Can we win this next game? That was a close match. Close, close match. I'm still pretty excited about it. But yes, like I was saying, if you guys want a chance to get a Diancy, I'm going to do, be doing a giveaway. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would like that. Or just do one to trade about it. I may just do one to trade regardless. Anyways, and record it and post it. Um, here's our... Challenger from Japan, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Aaron. 1483 rating, I think he said. Uh, they're bringing a. Oh, wow. It looks like my team. I saw Helios. I was about to say, I'm not going to say Helios. But uh, Helios, Charizard. Probably Charizard X. No, Charizard. No, yes, it's Charizard X. Because oh, they're bringing a Ninetales with Drought. And what's that drip? Drip? I don't know what that Pokemon is with the three. Cotton? Cottony? Cottony? I think it's Cottony. Cottony? Oh. Uh, why would they? No, it has to be Charizard X. Or oh, because that could be a Solar. Yeah. Okay. Weird. It's weird to bring a Dragonite and a Cloister into the with the Sun Team kind of. All oh, right. So they're bringing Sun Team, most likely. I do outspeed most of them with this. Oh, please be a Charizard Y. Oh. Huh. I'm gonna bring Darmantan. I think Darmantan's carrying an Earthquake. No, I think I. So I do have Rock Slide though. Ugh. Rock Slide. I'm gonna bring Blastoise. These are special attackers, so I am gonna bring Tyranitar. Actually, yep. I'm gonna bring Tyranitar. So, so this if they do bring the Sun Team, I can change the weather and bring in the sand stream which will help me in the long run so that my super effective hits from blastoise will be super effective and not halved by the sun i can lead off with jump oh gets jump up jump up oh, i think it's cotton even jump up regardless so i lead off with darmanic and i don't think this jump up wants to be in with the darmanic so i think it's a switch i'm gonna go for u turn and get switch initiative so i'm gonna go for the u turn here is jump up's not gonna appreciate a U-turn if it stays in. So it does stay in, predicting me to go for the U-turn. Predicting. So it does take it. Well, I'm surprised it stayed in. It did. It wanted to go for that. I'm gonna go into Tyranitar because I feel like this jump up is a special attacker. I've never, never really battled with jump up before. I don't know what it has to offer. It's not gonna appreciate the sand stream though. I know that. Goes for the sleep powder. Totally fine. Totally fine. Will they, will they abide by the sleep clause? It is leftover. Should have went for the flare blitz. So I'm gonna switch back out into Darmanitan. Can they abide by the sleep clause? That's the problem. If they don't, then I think I'm gonna call this. If they don't abide by the sleep clause, I'm gonna call this battle null and void because even though we're on battle spot, come on, it's like an unspoken rule. Goes for the Leech Seed, like I figured it would go for. Kind of should have stayed in, maybe took the Leech Seed from them. I'm going to get buffered and get Leech Seed damage. But this Jump Bluff's not going to appreciate a Flare Blitz, regardless. So it's going to get its Leftovers, and then it's going to get its Leech Seed damage from me. Sucking the life out of my Darmanitan. Oh my gosh. I do not like this Jump Bluff. But it's not going to like a Flare Blitz. Because I'm not going to not go for the Flare Blitz here. So you better switch out. Hmm. Is it going to... No, it's going to switch out now. I should have went for the U-turn to get Switch Initiative. This this, Japan, this Aaron guy from Japan is pretty smart. Pretty good. Pretty good battler if this switches out right now. Is he, what? Is he going to over-predict? Can he over-predict? Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Will he over predict? It's taking a while, taking a while. Anyways, but like as I was saying, yes, 
if you guys want some Diancy, you know, like and subscribe to this video. Like it, like this video and subscribe to our channel and I will be passing out Diancies and other Pokemon, other legendaries, and shiny Pokemon as well. I have I have boxes full of Pokemon as well. And, and especially legendaries. I have legendaries to give out. So it does withdraw, so they did predict me to go for the flare blitz and not switch out. So Charizard's gonna take this like a champ. And I am stuck in Flare Blitz, so I can't switch out. Actually, it doesn't take it as a champ, so I'm going to go for another Flare Blitz to take this. I'm going to get buffered it. It's going to get... It's going to get life, though, back from this. So I am kind of taking way more damage than I should be taking. But this Charizard will go down. Ooh, actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna have to go for another Flare Blitz here. So I don't want to. So it's a Charizard Y, like I figured. So the Sun's gonna boost this Flare Blitz, and this Charizard Y is gonna go down. So Drought does boost it, and I'm gonna get rid of this Sun as soon as I switch out into Titar after this. So Flare Blitz is going to take out this Charizard here. And even though it's not very effective, how much I did the first time against that regular Charizard, and it's boosted in the sun as well. So, who's coming in next? Is it going to be Jump Up? Whoever comes in next, I'm going to switch out. So it brings Dragonite. So they bring Dragonite. I'm sorry, I heard the door. My son's crying. He probably wants to come in. So it brings the Dragonite. I'm going to go into Blastoise here. My son is crying. He's being a brat. Um, I'm going to Blastoise here now. Dragonite hopefully does not go for... Oh, but it, I, I feel like it's going to go for Extreme Speed to try to take me out. So I'm going to go into Blastoise here. Don't go for D-Dance. If you go for D-Dance, I lost. So it goes for the Extreme Speed as I predicted. I should take this relatively well. It is multi-scale. I'm going to hit it with the water pulse here. I wish I'd see this is why Ice Beam comes in handy right now. Why I should have put Ice Beam on my Blastoise before I started the battle. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Ugh. I'm making mistakes, guys. Making mistakes. Bring in, bring in Pokemon that don't have Ice Beam. Ice Beam would be perfect right now. Super effective, even though with the multi-scale, it would do, it'd probably do at least half. If not 40%. So it goes for the Outrage, okay, it's totally fine, I'm totally fine with that. I should be able to take this like nothing. Oh, actually I don't take it like anything. So the next, water, next Outrage will take me out. Hopefully I can get a Confusion here. So I do break the multi-scale, it's not Leftovers, it's probably Weakness Policy. I guess it was expecting me to have Ice Beam. So I'm going to get taken out right here, but it is going to get confused right now. No, it's not. I'm gonna go to T-Tar here to bring take away the sun. Cause I think that jump that uh was a jump up probably is chlorophyll. The sandstorm is gonna get kicked up. Hopefully I can wake up. Going going for a stone edge here. So three turn outrage with no confusion. Should I Oh it takes me to over half, so it is confused. I need to wake up. It is a Lumberry, though. Oh my gosh, I need tar T Tar. No, T Tar. So I think I am going to lose this battle. T Tar. Oh my gosh. At all, all times in the game, I need you to wake up. This is the time. This is the time I need you to wake up. And you can't live another one. Oh my gosh. Ah, I, I will. Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide. I was thinking about going for Rock Slide, but if Rock Slide misses, I lose. Flare Blitz, no matter what, I'm probably going to lose too. Because he's stuck in Outrage, Recoil Damage. I don't know. I could have hoped for a flinch too, as well, but. Oh my gosh, if I had Ice Beam, 
If I only had Ice Beam, maybe I could have won the battle. Alright, we lose the second one to Eren. 2-0 victory. Oh my gosh. Sleep Powder. Put my Pokemon to sleep. That's kind of cost me the game right there. Uh, we're not going to save that. We're going to move on to the next one. So we are 13-14 and 14 now. Yes, let's continue battling. Yes, Battle Box team. Oh, that was kind of that was kind of disheartening. Disheartening. Kind of upsetting too. But hopefully we can win this next battle here. We have 1507 rating. Who is hopefully this team? This is this last going. Can you go two and one again? Two and one again. It, it's so Roy from Japan. Fukuoka battle please 1455 rating. It's a lower rating than I. So let's bring in Blastoise as well. Make probably make a Blastoise, a Haxorus. Um, a Grand Bull, a Weezing, a uh, Buffalant, and then again, an Infernape, an Infernape. Who to lead off with? Okay, so he's probably going to bring the Weezing because I have a lot of physical attackers here. I am going to bring Titar for that Haxorus though. Hmm. Buffalant. Buffalant is what type of Pokemon? Is it a normal type? Boo. How do you even spell that? Alright, that's how you spell it. B O. So it's a normal type. So I think I'm going to bring him a champ for that. Um, who to lead off with? Oh. I think I'm going to lead off with Blastoise. I'm going to bring Tyranitar and I'm going to bring the champ. Heliolisk has not been a factor in any of these. Well, I brought Heliolisk once, but Heliolisk is not... There's no Pokemon that really... These battles I haven't been able to use. I, if I would have brought it in the last one, I probably would have... Probably did way better because it does outspeed a Charizard Y. A timid, a timid uh, Heliolus does outspeed a uh, Charizard Y. Mega Charizard Y. So I do lead off with my Blastoise. I wonder if he brought his Blastoise. So he brings Grand Bull. Okay. So I don't know what a Grand Bull has to offer. It's, it's usually they're usually defensive. So. A water pulse will do the most damage. I'm gonna go for a water pulse. He's gonna stay in. I wonder if it's specially defensive. Still would do the most. Almost half. Water pulse will do almost half. This should do over half. So it does about half. It does hit me with a T wave, which is fine. Uh, Mega Blastoise is slower than dirt, so I don't. So it does have the leftovers. I don't know if this water pulse will take out this grand bull. I don't need to get parahexed right now. No parahex. No parahex. Come on. Come on. So it goes for the wild charge. Did not expect that. It does little less than half. It the recoil damage. If I Oh my gosh, and I do get paralyzed. Are you kidding me? Oh, this that's so upsetting. This next one will take me out. I am gonna go into. Oh my gosh. It doesn't really matter. I think we're gonna lose this battle here because he's gonna go for Walters. I'm gonna go into T Tar. This shouldn't be very effective to me at all. But he does clear the play rough, and play rough will most likely take. He does predict the switch and goes for play rough. It is going to get buffered by the sandstorm, so. Oh my gosh, it's Granbull. Granbull is going to take me out. Take me out. I'm just going to go for the earthquake here. It doesn't really matter. It's going to outspeed me. Oh, it doesn't outspeed me. Earthquake. Can Earthquake take out this Grand Bull? No, it does not. So, oh, I should have went for the Stone Edge. Stone Edge probably would have did more damage. Oh my gosh. 
It's gonna get buffed by the sandstorm though, so I should be able to take it out with a not a dynamic punch, a bullet punch from this range from with Mama Champ. Oh, it's so upsetting. Can't believe er a stab earthquake can't take out this Granble. I don't think I'm max attack though. I'm gonna go for the bullet punch here. May predict it, but sandstorm is up, so there'd be no point in switching out. Especially with this. Yep, so he's gonna stay in. Gonna get hit with the bullet punch. Super effective. Take out this Granbull. This Granbull is causing problems for me. T Wave Granbull. Oh my gosh. New meta. New meta. It's probably already been out there. I don't know. I don't really use Granbulls at all. I think it's an NU Pokemon or an RU. One of those two. I don't think it's UU. Granbull, yes. This is an NU Pokemon. Oh my gosh. So he brings the Haxorus in. Axorus is going to outspeed me. Hopefully it's not a D-Dance variant. I'm going to go for the Dynamic Punch here. So it does go for the D-Dance here. I am going to get. I am going to hit him with the Dynamic Punch. He's going to get confused. So this nice and stab Dynamic Punch is going to hit him hard. Super hard. Oh my gosh. He's confused. He's Lumber. Are you kidding me? All these Dragon types are Lumb. Get out of here. He's going to get hit with a sandstorm. If I can survive a dragon rage, or an outrage, I mean, not dragon rage, an outrage, I think I will be fine. A plus one outrage from Can Machamp survive? Oh my god. I'm checking this right now. A plus one. Oh my gosh, nope, I cannot survive a plus one outrage. But I'm gonna go for another. Day. Hopefully it gets greedy. Dual chop. Oh, that's gonna take me out. No, it's not. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna survive, and that's a crit too. Oh my gosh, this hexus is going home tonight. Go to sleep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. He went for dual chop. Oh my gosh. I may be able to take this game back. I may be able to take this game back. I cannot believe that. May. Oh, that could have been a misclick. Could have been a misclick. An outrage. An outrage. So he, the bouflon. Will a boot. Does a bouflon outspeed? We are speed. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have any Eevees in there though. I'm gonna go for protect. I'm gonna scout out see what Bouffalant has to offer. Oh, you know, I kind of predicted them to bring the Bouffalant. That's why I brought my champ. What is Roy gonna do with this Bouffalant? Oh my gosh, head smash? He's gonna go for the head smash? Is that, is that what it is? Or head charge? One of the two. Afro. Afro? Oh my gosh, he DC'd. He DC'd. So we're gonna chalk that up as a win. So we get. Was that? I think that was our second win. So we do go two in one in this episode. Oh my gosh. No, we do not want to continue back. Again, I can't believe he DC'd. I guess he figured he was going to lose. I appreciate you guys for watching. Again, thank you guys. We appreciate you guys' support out there uh, for what we bring you guys. We think we hope you guys enjoy our content. We think, we think, we hope you guys enjoy our content that Super Browser and I bring to you. Uh, please smash that like button. Please that, smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Have a good morning. Have a good night. Peace out.